Hi folks, day 18, um, still fasting, still an atheist. Um, last time I spoke to you about the physical elements that I want to see some improvement on throughout the fast. Today I want to, still in answer to the Marines question, I want to turn to the spiritual benefits that I'm looking for. First, some definitions. A spiritual idea or an intimation or a feeling, uh, these are all members of the subcategory of brain state. They're passing, they pass, they don't endure. They go from moment to moment and give us the illusory sensation of time. Unlike these passing brain states, however, things like spirituality, spiritual inclination, nature, personality, indeed sub-personalities, these persist in time, they endure. Some of them go back to our earliest experiences. For instance, we may have formed a neurotic defense to a particular insult offered to our still narcissistic natures when we were babies. And we can carry that with us today. As such, they are part of our neural networking or hardwiring. To a large extent, they constitute who we are or who we think we are, which for operational purposes might be the same thing. In brief, they can be thought of as our spiritual natures. I mentioned just now neurotic defences. I could also have added the following, our deep inclinations, our sense of trust or distrust, uh, a happy, open personality, bitterness, optimism, realism, pessimism, and so through the whole catalogue of terms we use to describe various human traits and the variety of human nature. These neural networks, that is, our spiritual natures, also include the gambit of psychopathology, mood disorders, manias, addictions, uh, and various species of intemperance, lusts in short. I want to turn to two of these, mood disorders and addictions, for the remainder of the video. All my life I've been prone to various addictions that have led me by the nose, diverting me from good intentions like finishing a degree in a timely manner and taking a job overseas or here in Australia. My addictions have also dissipated my energies and talents. In this past, I wish to travel to the source of this intemperance and extinguish it in the fires of abstinence. Fine old biblical terms that is intemperance and abstinence and very apt too. I want to purge them in the fires of the fast. Next, let's pass to the subject of moods. My moods, like my addictions, have led me a merry dance in life. They've caused me a lot of pain and others. You see, I have what doctors call a borderline personality disorder whereby my deeper, truer nature, comprised of my true passions, is overruled time and again by ephemeral, ephemeral, but very strong mood swings, which may spring up like a summer breeze, sometimes blow out into a full-scale scoop storm, but always, like always, pass, subside, and die away into a calm dawn sky. In the same fire of which I just spoke, I wish to unmake these neural networks, forged in my adolescence or even younger, and with the powerful aid of daily yoga and meditation, forge new networks, ones more conducive to spontaneity. I want to grow my brain in the direction of greater existential fluidity, that is, greater openness to the present moment. A state of being less hampered by the phantoms of the past which tell me how things will be because of how things were. Finally, I told you I'd get there in five minutes this time, this fast is a physical process designed to influence a physical mass, the brain, in ways designed to reset its circuitry and open up new possibilities, new degrees of freedom. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in a week or so.